Thank you for coming back to my channel, Dev Chanel's 48th World, and we're going to get ready to get to the point. All right, y'all. Atlanta Black Star brought out a little photo that's I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see anything sexual about it, but it is supposed to be somewhat of a sexual pic of Cynthia Bailey that she took of herself trying to get her man, uh, I guess, w watering or thirsting for her, lusting for her. But I'm like, I don't understand these two. They both are really pathetic when it comes in playing with uh, sexual innuendos and trying to get each other hot. Because this photo that I'm going through showing you all, there ain't nothing hot about that. There ain't nothing hot about that unless she's trying to cool off. And uh, Peter Thomas, her past ex-husband, he already told us Cynthia wasn't giving him much loving, okay? The little loving he got, it wasn't worth it, all right? I guess that's why he had to little creep a little bit, creep, creep a little bit. But then, you know, you got Leon. He's in the midst. And, of course, we know he all man. And uh, he definitely was with Cynthia, and they produced a little bambina. Yes, a baby, a baby girl on that. So we know all her bodily functions work down there when it comes into reproducing a life. But whether she enjoys the uh, sexual scene with her partner as much as some of the rest of the world do, the freaky freak, the freaky diggies, you know, like, I think Cynthia's just like, okay, do whatever you got to do and let me up. <laughs> type of woman okay like i ain't really into that that's something y'all like i'm more of just caress me and hold me type of lady okay but i'll i'll get you off if that's what i have to do to keep you that's what i'm uh getting to that's what's coming in my mind how cynthia is in that department okay but let's go on and see what Kirsten Willis, you know my girl, okay, she always keep it hot and spicy for me and drop down tea from time to time from her employer, Atlanta Black Star. She titles her article, Zooming In, Cynthia Bailey gets fiance Mike Hill hot and bothered all the way from Greece, okay? Like I said, I showed y'all a picture that's on her Instagram account and that's what she gave me. All right, and I was like, mm. Now, if I was a man, would I really get hot and bothered about that? I'm like, turn around, Cynthia. Turn around. Take off the little bottom part. You know, show something. Because right now, you're just showing me you hot. You in the desert somewhere. You trying to wet your feet. <laughs> to cool off, girl. To cool off. That's all the tea that you're giving me. All right. Uh, but in the article we read on, it says Cynthia Bailey might be 6,600 miles away. From fiance Mike Hill with the Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars in Greece. But she knows how to set a thirst trap for her California-based beau. All right. I'm like, I'm questioning his manhood at this time. Because that's all it takes you to get hot with that type of outfit. And you get hot off of that. Something wrong. Something wrong, honey. But anyway, moving on. It says on Instagram Thursday, the model posed in a flowy, multicolor Tanya Marie dress facing the rocky waves of a local nautical club. She stood with her leg exposed and her hands held above her head. I mean, Santa, what you trying to give us a little bondage there, a little sex tryst that you want to be done? Uh, you have been done like, because <laughs> I'm like, what a pole that, what a stripper pole, what a strip, strip, stripper pole, you know, show me some S&M, come and get with it, I can, I can, can you teach her some lessons, can you teach her some lessons, can you teach, teach Cynthia Bailey some lessons, because right now it's dry, so he can say, ah, it's dry as the Sahara Desert, and I ain't getting nothing, okay, if I was a man, but like I said, she's just giving me teas and let me put my feet in these waters and let me just, you know, baptize myself. Okay, or let me cool off because it's hot as hell I am. But if you're getting a tease, man, from that type of uh, situation, then go ahead. Go ahead. I ain't never seen my ex-husband or boyfriends get hot and bob by that photo. But, hey, if you do, well, maybe it's something new going out there that I'm not exposed to yet. But anyway, going back to the article, it says she captioned the post, including a hashtag for the couple 
uh, which fuses her first initial and the Fox Sports 1 anchor last name. Okay, immediately Bailey's Butroff caught the post and eagerly reacted, commenting, zooming in. The remark was accompanied by the couple's hashtag and two heart emojis. All right. Several friends also remarked on the Real Housewives of Atlanta Stars post and applauded the model over her impending nuptials or nuptials. And I'm like, it should not be in the nuptials, okay? But why is she over there posing like a statue? Where is her daughter? And what has he done with her daughter? Okay, that's what's in my mind and have been on my mind since she's been over there in Greece, trotting around on them rocks and sightseeing and trying to give us uh, drama way over there when I know most of the drama is going to happen over here in Atlanta. So I'm like, could you have not taken Noelle with you since she's having so much trouble fitting in at school and in life general? I mean, Kenya and uh, Portia took their babies, baby girls, all right? Why couldn't you take Noelle and just pay her fees if she had to have any? Because that's where I'm at while you in Greece sending not-so-naked pictures to your fiancé. You should be sending something uh, to the effect to your daughter. Providing a plane ticket, okay? Checking on her 24-7. But maybe that's just the mama in me and not in you. Okay, but going back to the article, it said, show that, wait a minute, show that heinous sweetheart. Like, that he old school, heinous sweetheart. Hi, no, honey, he ain't showing, she ain't showing no heinous, honey. She's like a Mormon or a Jehovah Witness where they keep their stuff covered or what do you call it? A Muslim female. All right. She is all clothed up where you ain't leaving nothing to no imagination. You really have to search deep in your sexualness to find anything tantalizing about that statue of a pose. Okay. Just my thoughts, my opinions. But going back to the article, some commenters were saying, come on, mother. All right. Another one uh, says, <clears throat> excuse me, too fresh up. I love at It's My Heel for You. You are amazing. Uh, I am so glad you are enjoying life and can't wait for you to marry the man of your dreams. I'm like, honey, well, them, them dreams are still out there. I don't agree with that comment, but I, I express that you have expressed your opinion. You have it. Comment to go ahead on. But I don't think that's the one for Cynthia. That's just my pun intended. Then it, one another commenter says, my congratulations, Cynthia. Uh, Bailey 10, you're ever sexy. I love you so much. Okay. But while fans may have lots of love for Bailey, no one loves her more than he. Back in July, the sportscaster uploaded a black and white photo of the couple that uh, focused more on him than it did on Bailey. See that shade coming in? That shade in Polaroid color, black and white. But it was definitely shade. And it was um, capturing more, so he put her in the background. But he's saying he ain't putting her in the background. Well, okay, where do I take a picture like that? Because that's what I got from it. And you keep showing it. That's why I still keep seeing Mr. Mike Hill. But going back to the article, it said, appear to take an aim at the haters and critics. He'll caption the post just because you don't see as much of her. Don't ever think she's not in the picture. Stronger than ever. See here, Cynthia Beta 10. Hashtag little wins. Hashtag prosperity and, prosper and uh, growing. Uh, hashtag more coming soon. And I'm like, no, don't come soon. End it. All right. End hashtags. End this. Uh, plot to get Cynthia in your clutches so you can do whatever you will with her and uh, for her. That's not good for her. Okay. But going back to the article, it said Bailey backed up the remark saying in a comment, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, pretty much Cynthia, unless he starts draining your bank account so much as uh, Peter uh, Thomas did, he will be going somewhere. Because you do got sense then when you see you going into the red, the negative, and you start thinking about your retirement, your early retirement, if you do get that. Uh, yeah, somebody had to go. You or Peter, and you chose wisely. Self preservation is a good thing. Self preservation is a good thing, but it seems like you got a little leech. You don't call a little leech while you was out there swimming with the sharks, okay? You thought you came back with a whole full fledged garlic man, you came back with a snake, a snake swimming in the ocean like an eel. All right, you don't call a little leech, honey. Wake up and smell the coffee. All right, oh, the fuck out there in that ocean water all right but going back it said uh to the article but while the couple who got engaged in two months ago 
in two months ago is not closer than ever he'll exclusively disclose to Atlanta Black Star. See, why is he going around him uh meeting with all of these um uh blogging uh companies that's putting out salacious stories? Why is he doing that? He was in sports trying to make a name for himself. And like I said, I'm not a sports uh fan or view or follower, so I don't know too much about it. But they ain't the house ain't playing or the um what do you call it? Atlanta Falcons ain't losing and I'm still trying to represent for them by giving them a little peek or two at some games. I ain't up with no sports. All right. I really ain't. Okay. But you know, he going around here having all these interviews. First he had one with media takeout. Then he turned around Dropped some tea with Bravo. Then he turned around. Now I'm hearing he's over there at Atlanta Black Star dropping news. I'm like, what are you? The second P Peter Thomas coming? Okay. You're not getting a peach. This is not a male show. This is a female show. It's called The Housewives. Not the man who wants to be a housewife and hold a peach. What the hell going on with my kid? I'm telling you, Cynthia, you better come on back off that trip real quick, fast, and hurry. Because he don't, he been, he would have been made some deals for y'all to like be able to have to go out here and do, and you ain't get, he ain't get your consent. It's like he pimping you, girl. He pimping you, and you don't even know you getting played. That 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 song, Breathe the Franklin said, Who zooming who? Take a look at me, baby. Who zoom in who? Okay, get into that song, girl. Get into that song. You need to be listening to some R E S P C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P C T. Take out T C P. Suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it. That's what you ought to be doing, Santa. You should have a playlist of feel good women empowerment songs because somewhere you don't lost your way honey you don't lost your way and i need you to find it i need you to find it quick fast and hurt because your baby girl out there sinking somewhere okay she's seeking in some kind of sorrow some kind of loneliness some type of emptiness and she needs her mother whether you know it or not while you out there trying to make them dollars trying to secure whatever you call a future for you, Mike, and uh, the girls. No, nah, baby, you need to be anchoring that money on you and Noelle because evidently she got some problems going on. You don't see it, but the rest of the world see it. And that's usually how it is. The people that's close to the situation can't see their own situation, but they can see other people's situations out there and try to make amends. Why are you over there trying to mend fences with Kenya and, and, and Nene and whoever else that you feel is in trouble? You need to be back home sitting up here trying to focus on what's going on with baby girl. Why she can't stand on her own at her little age. Why she can't stay in school and try to get her education. Or why she's on YouTube, okay? Trying to be a sensational um, I don't know, YouTuber, or blogger, or whatever. I mean, she's very, um, what do you call it? She's more of an introvert, not an extrovert type of personality. I mean, what you want her to be like the Kardashians? You're going to be her mom manager. All right. I don't understand. Somebody pimping out you and you trying to pimp, uh, let some, you trying to let him pimp out your daughter too. He got two for the price of one. I don't understand, Cynthia. Come on back. Reel me in, people. Reel me in. Adele Chanel's finna go off the deep end and make this the video where it was more of getting on Cynthia's ass behind instead of focusing on what Mike's doing. Somebody got to stay. Okay. Okay. I'm coming back. Okay. Ooh, let me drink a few uh, swallows of water here. Because I got kind of heated there. I kind of got in the bed. So let me, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Hold on. Let me take a little sip. <sighs> Okay, that was a little refreshing. Okay, let me get on back. Ooh, let me get on back. That was the mother in me. That was the mother in me. I don't like when men try to use women, especially vulnerable and naive women such as Cynthia. She got a good heart. Her mama raised her right, but you know, I, I need her mama to check in on her daughter. I know she tried to do it with uh Peter, and we know that was a hot mess, but mama and, and sister were trying to do what they felt was best, and look what actually turned out. It turned out to be what they felt from the beginning, and I'm sure they got some things they want to say about Mr. Mike Hill, but Cynthia probably done threatened them and told them, I don't want to hear it. Don't get on TV. Don't get on social media saying nothing, okay? Don't say nothing. And they probably say, okay, we did you on the first time. We'll stay out the line, like, but honey, sometimes you have to throw that to the back burner. Get out there and say, uh-uh, not my daughter. She could do much better. I don't know why she feels she has to be out there trying to uh, have a man love on her. But the only thing he got, he wants her notoriety. He wants to build his fan base. He wants to, uh, 
do whatever he feels he needs to do to secure his future. He probably ain't even thinking about his girls, okay? That's why the mothers ain't being shown. And I'm like, that's right. The mothers of those two girls or the mother of those two girls stay in the bushes, okay? And get that joker for everything he got because they deserve it. They was the first two kids and you know, I don't know. I just don't like my kill. Okay, I'm biased. I'm biased. I want somebody better. Hell, I'll take Peter Thomas back. Just give him an allowance. <laughs> just give Peter allowance because he's more personable to me than Mike would ever be for you, Cynthia. But that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Let me keep going on. Back to the article. It says, um, let me see. He's over there interviewing and disclosing information with Atlanta Black Star that he had not begun working through his issues by pinning his book, Mike Check. He and Bailey would not be an item, okay? If he didn't get into his book and write the story on whatever was going on in his life, and probably more than likely still going on in his life, he's saying he wouldn't have married Santa. I'll be thinking about marrying her. Well, oh, let's see, Mike Hill. No, you were an opportunist. You still are an opportunist, and you see uh, Cynthia Bailey as Mark Gold that you need to get your hands on because she's been on the franchise of Housewives of Atlanta, I believe, six years, and you want to take in some of that notoriety. So, no, she is your golden goose, your golden egg. Let's put it like it is. All right. Somebody send Cynthia this video or send it to her mama. So she can say, see, everybody watching Dale Chanel's 4 Days Word, and they saying you being made a fool out of a girl. And I ain't saying shit. I ain't said nothing yet. But the we the people have spoken on her channel. They ain't got time to play with you, Cynthia. Get yourself together. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, he's saying his book that he's writing is called Mike Chat. I guess he's dropping, you know, hints for us to go out there and buy. But honey, that book will be done collecting dust. And probably the pages would have turned yellow before I even attempt to even just look at the cover of it. All right. That means I ain't purchasing a damn thing. I'm not supporting you, Mike, in any of your endeavors. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, I wouldn't be engaged right now to Cynthia Bailey. Said he of the woman he met on Steve Harvey's show during a matchmaking segment that aired in April 2018 which we know that was a lie because, you know, Alana ATL, Liam brought it out and some more vloggers, vloggers had brought it out that he was actually on a radio talk show podcast show where uh, Cynthia Bailey was and Claudia Jordan was on this panel and Mike Hill was one of the correspondents. Okay, so that was all fictitious, a lie. So Cynthia, it seems like your whole, whole uh, piece of a man storyline is a lie, girl. Why? why? Why all the lies, girl? Why the lies? But going back to the article, it said, we would not be together if it wasn't for that book because it helped me, excuse me, realize there were so many things that was going on in my life that I didn't realize. Now I know why I did certain things in my life and now I'm able to move forward. And that's pretty much what's the gist of this article. Okay. Uh, to me, it just boasted of Mike Hill being full of himself, he going around here doing interviews that Cynthia know nothing about, putting her tea out there, what's coming to, uh, what's going to be coming for the future in the new series, not series, but season of, uh, season 12 for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they might be paying him under the table for uh, these salacious stories of episodes coming up for season 12. See, he pocketed all that money, Cynthia. If in fact, this is all allegedly, I don't know, but my mind, you know, I got like, one of them conspiracy type minds going on. It seems like he's setting you up for the okie doke, okay? Who got the fish caught in the hook now, boy? That's what a Richard Franklin said. So, uh-uh. Who zoom in? Who? Who? I beat you at your game. Hey, you will never be the same. Oh! That's what Aretha gave me, honey, and that's who Zoom and who song. Uh-uh. She said, you will rem remember my name because I beat you at your game. I said, go ahead, Riri. Go ahead, that R-E-S-P-C-C-T. Girl, go about your business. You can mess with Aretha Franklin. Uh-uh. 
Nope, you couldn't mess with her at all. Take some notes from the old school. Cynthia, take some notes from the old school. They knew what was happening then. They knew what was happening now. And they will be pivotal for the future. All right, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all get in those comments. Drop down what you feel about the story I put out. Okay, the subject matter, not me and how I brought it to you. Unless you got good things to say. That I'm always willing and able to hear those comments. Okay, those salacious, happy, you know, feel, warm felt comments. All right. All right, y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.